Hey VHS, welcome to Buff News Network, the new vision of how we're doing our school announcements. I'm Marco. And I'm Jesse. And we're going to tell you a little bit how the Buff News is going to be a little different from the years past. YouTube, Instagram, there's going to be a multitude of different social media platforms we can use so that you can watch our announcements. They may not show in Buff Clubs as much anymore, but we still want to do our best to get that out to you. Despite all these changes, we are still going to do our best to give you the highest quality of news and entertainment. Now with introductions out of the way, please stay tuned as we move on to our sports segment. Go Bucks! Hey everybody, I'm Patchy the Pirate. We're now going to be moving on to our sports segment, where we're going to interview multiple athletes. But first, we're going to interview cheerleader Jesse Moyer on how his season is currently going. Keep going. No, that's good. No! <laughs> Cut! Hi, VHS. I'm Brooke Kirkland. I'm here with the cheerleader, Jesse Moore, and we're going to be asking him some questions about his season. Jesse, how has your season changed from last year because of your new coach? Well, our new coach, Ashley Garza, um, she is on the, on the JV team, and she's brought a lot of creativity to our JV team and improved a lot since last season. Okay. How has COVID affected your season? Um, we did have like some minor setbacks in the beginning. We couldn't stunt or couldn't really do anything, like close contact or anything. So it was just a lot of jumps and cheers. So. What are some challenges that you have personally this year? Um, my tumbling is really like, I mean, it's getting there, but like I have a lot of mental block, which is preventing me to further my skills. All right. Thank you, Jesse. Go Bucks. Thanks for the interview, Jesse. It was great. I hope the rest of your cheerleading season goes just as good as it's already going. Now, we're going to be moving on to our interview with senior golfer Jack Larson. Hi, I'm Chris Booz. I'm here with golfer Jack Larson. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so, I know you're in the golf. I know you guys, your season's coming to an end, but um, what's your highlight of the season? I don't know. Um, uh, we took a really a good win at Freeport this year at a really hard course, so um, we were all pretty proud of that. Jack, how do you feel about this being your last season? Um, I don't know. I have a lot of mixed emotions about it. Um, I've been out here for four years, and I put in a lot of hard work towards it. Um, but I don't know. It's 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 a lot of it's a lot of emotions. It's a lot of feelings, but. Um, I wouldn't rather be doing anything else with all this time I've had, so. All right, and I know the season's coming up. Do you guys have any conference meets, sectional meets? Um, uh, this weekend we have conference, um, and uh, next Tuesday on the 28th, something like that, we got regionals at Marengo. All right, that sounds interesting. And then this is your senior year, so then do you plan on playing in college? Um, I've thought about it. I've given it a lot of thought, actually. Um, I might play D3 somewhere, but... Um, I'm still not sure, and I'm not really committed to anything yet. All right, thank you so much. That was a great interview, Chris. I heard the boys did well at conference this year. Now, we're going to be moving on to our interview with swimmer Sutton Gaines. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm here with swimmer Sutton Gaines. I heard you guys had a pretty good meet recently. You want to tell me about that? Yeah, so um, our meet was at Jefferson, and it was senior night, and we actually won first place, so... That's really good. Um, what events are you personally in? Um, I normally swim the 500 freestyle and the 100 breaststroke and a couple relays. What are some personal goals you have for you this season? Um, I just hope that we come together as a team and kind of grow as that. And I hope to get some best times and maybe place at conference. So, really good. Okay, thank you for this interview, Sutton. Yeah, of course. Thanks a lot, guys. Now, we're all done with our interviews for the week. So we're going to be moving on to our weekly recap with me matey, Isaac Palmer. Thanks a lot. Hi VHS, my name is Isaac Palmer. I'm here with your week's weekly recap. This week we started off with homecoming week uh, consisting of pajama day on Monday, toga and tropical day on Tuesday, jersey day on Wednesday, uh, generations day on Thursday, and spirit day on Friday. The parade was on Thursday, following was the powder puff game. Um, our football game as well as getting to crown our homecoming king and queen is on Friday as well. 
um, that's all I have for you today for your weekly recap. Good luck. Welcome to Cooking with Jesse. I'm your host, Jesse, and on this week's episode, we are making cookies. So, my ingredients I have eggs, chocolate chips, vanilla extract, brown sugar, sugar, salt, both baking powder and soda, flour, and I have melted butter. So, in the first step, you want to add a half tablespoon of baking soda and baking soda, or baking powder into the flour and add a teaspoon of salt in the flour and mix it together like so. Okay, so you want to mix three-fourths of sugar and three-fourths of brown sugar in the butter and then add a teaspoon of vanilla extract into the butter mixture and just want to mix it all together. So you want to like chop up the butter like this and mix it all together. All right, so now you want to take your flour mixture when you put all your um, baking or your sugars in and just like do a little at a time. So, and just like mix it in. And you just want to make sure you get all on the sides. Now what you want to do is you want to take both your eggs and mix one end at a time. So just boop, like that. And then just beat it in like this. And then take your other egg and just dump it in and mix that into the mixture too. So now since we have all of our mixture together, you want to add one cup of chocolate chip at a time. So you just want to mix it around like so. And then add the other cup of chocolate chip. All right. So since we have all our cookie dough made, we're gonna take some. We're gonna take an ice cream scooper or whatever, and take it and just plop it right on the parchment paper. 
But first, you want to make sure your oven is heated at 375 so they can cook. So I'm just going to do a couple. Now you just want to put your cookies in the oven now. Before you take out the cookies, you want to get like safety, so just get some oven mitts or whatever. You open the oven, you grab it out like this, put it over here, put the one just on top of the uh, stove, and then grab the other one, oh, and, and let them cool down for like five minutes. Alright guys, so last season we did not have any judges. So this season we thought, why not bring judges on? So we have Sophia, Bren, and our very own guest, Patchy, the pirate. Enjoy. cookie but it's still delicious it's pretty good it's got a little bit of crisp to it but also like soft it's a little soft and doughy are you rating it i rated it a 7 out of 10 6.5 i would give it a 5 Thanks guys for watching this week's episode of Cooking with Jesse. Tune in next week to find out what else we're cooking. Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about some different clubs at VHS. We're interviewing Care Club, GSA, and Thespians for more participation at our clubs at our school. Contact the teachers if you're interested. I'm here with Mrs. Pedersen and Mr. Tanner, and we're going to be talking about Care Club at BHS. So first off, what is Care Club exactly? Care Club is our um, environmental club. All right, so what does Care Club stand for? Keeping and revitalizing the earth. All right, and do you need to be in environmental science to be involved? Definitely not. You can be any old person. <laughs> any any grade level, anybody in the building can be involved. Perfect. So when do you guys meet? We're meeting every Monday mm -hmm. from right after school till about four-ish. Four, four four-ish. And what is the best way to reach you guys? Email. Email. Or come and buy our rooms. Yep. We're in room 100 and 104. Perfect. And why should students join Care Club? Because it's awesome. <laughs> students should join Care Club if they care about the environment and would like to be active stewards in the community and um, if they like to go outside and enjoy the outdoors. Great, perfect, thank you. Three, two. Hi everybody, I'm here with Ali and Amber and I'm gonna ask them a few questions about Care Club. So what have you learned since joining Care Club? Okay, well personally, I feel like I've become way more environmentally friendly and like um, conscious of like how I'm treating the earth since joining Care Club. I've started a garden and also we have a compost bin at home. Oh, I didn't know what, was what is the best part about Care Club? I feel like just staying after school and like um, talking about topics that like everyone's interested. Obviously, we all join because we care about like the environment and also like we like science, you know. So just being around people that like like to have the same interests as you is really cool. And not only for like the earth as a whole, but for the high school because there are some changes that could be made here. So hopefully we can make those possible as well. And what is the next activity you guys are doing as a club? Okay, uh, this Thursday we are participating in the homecoming parade and we're going to be passing around these little paper herbs that you can plant in the ground um, and their seeds. Rodriguez, and uh, thank you for letting me interview. So, uh, firstly, what is GSA? GSA stands for Gay Straight Alliance or Gender and Sexuality Alliance and it is a place mainly to socialize uh, and meet other people, um, including allies. All right, what should you expect in GSA, like activity-wise? 
Uh, some of the things we've done in the past, we've marched in the in the homecoming parade, made posters, made t-shirts, um, did other crafts, uh, played games, watched movies. Sometimes we just sit around and talk. All right, what behavior is not acceptable in GSA? GSA is a place where people come to be vulnerable and to be accepted. So there should be no bullying, no name calling, any type of disrespect. We honor people, their names, their identity, their pronouns. All right, and lastly, when does GSA meet and which classroom? GSA meets on Thursdays right after school from three to four in room 228. Awesome. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. And I'm excited to go to GSA and I hope everyone else interested is as well. Thank you. Hello, Sutton. What is Thespians Club? So Thespians is actually a part of the International Thespian Society. It was started in 1929, and we have one of Illinois' oldest chapters. Uh, we're Troop 2919, and we are about all things theater. So we really try to promote shows. We have a point system that people are a part of. It's also one of the few ways that uh, students, when they graduate, get recognized for their accomplishments in theater. Awesome. All right, so how is um, your club unique to the school? Uh, this, this club is very unique in the sense that uh, students get a, a real uh, opportunity to be a part of leadership. Um, it's also an honor society, so it's about academics, but then also applying their studies towards theater. So uh, students are oftentimes a part of musicals and plays. Uh, we also um, have in, in the past gone to go see musicals and plays in downtown Chicago on field trips. We're hopefully planning a trip uh, coming up pretty soon to Rock Valley. So there's uh, opportunities to go see theater, be a part of theater, and I think that makes it very unique. Okay, cool. So how many members do you think are in the club? Right so right now we have about 48 members in the club oh. who, are, um, who are consistent. Um, they're not necessarily in, a, they're not thespians yet because you have to be inducted, uh, but anybody can come to the meetings. And then once you acquire so many hours, then you are inducted into the, the Honor Society. All right, so how often do you guys meet? We meet every other uh, week on Wednesdays. All right, cool. So are there any requirements for the club? The only requirement is that you um, come and you have a, a love for theater and you, you want to be a part. All right, thank you for talking to me.